Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going through my entire movie collection, so let's not waste any time because this is going to take a little while. We'll get this intro out of the way and we'll get started. Welcome once again, my name's Austin, and this channel is all about digging deeper and going further to better understand faith and film and everything that's in between. I do all kinds of fun stuff on this channel, including collections, Blu-ray hauls, talking about specific movies, all that kind of stuff. So if that sounds exciting to you, make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new content. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna go through my Blu-ray collection. Now, just like last year, about this time when I did this video, we're gonna go section by section. And in each section, I'm gonna challenge myself to pick my favorite movie in that section. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got about 10 sections of movies to go through. So I will keep numbers on screen so you can play along with me. Comment down below with your favorite movie in each section. This is going to be a fun one. I'm going to kind of go as quick as I can, but at the same time, for something really special I want to talk about, I'm going to talk about it. Now, before we get into all this over here, I do want to address the fact that I have the Alien 35th Anniversary Blu-ray Edition, as well as the Aliens Blu-ray 30th Anniversary Edition, and then the regular Alien Blu-ray, the regular Aliens Blu-ray, and Prometheus and Alien Covenant. I keep my Alien movies in their own kind of display section, so they're not on this normal shelf, but I did want to show that I do have those in my collection. First jumping in, we have A Knight's Tale. A Quiet Place, this is the standard Blu-ray steelbook. A Quiet Place, this is the 4K steelbook. Uh, that's one of my favorite movies, so I have both of the steelbooks there. A Star is Born, also on steelbook. I promise not this many of my movies are on steelbook. I don't have that kind of money. Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, one of my favorite kind of guilty pleasures. The Accountant, a great Ben Affleck movie. Act of Valor. I really enjoy uh, the military kind of aspect of it, the fact that they use real soldiers in that one. The first Amazing Spider-Man movie, as well as The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And a Christmas classic for me, Anna and the Apocalypse. Continuing on with the A's, we have Arrival. This is probably, for now, my favorite Denis Villeneuve movie. As Above, So Below. I recently watched this one for the first time. Really cool kind of found footage style horror movie. And I wanted to pick that one up for the collection. Atlantis, The Lost Empire and Atlantis, Milo's Return. Uh, the first one of those, a uh, classic from my childhood. The Avatar Collector's Edition on Blu-ray. I'm really, really excited for the new Avatar movies. Not everyone kind of loved this one going forward. It's not been loved in recent memory, but I'm still really excited for what Cameron's doing next. Next, the AVP double feature. So this has Alien vs. Predator, as well as Alien vs. Predator Requiem, which you should never watch. Alien vs. Predator is okay. That's perfectly watchable. Next, we have Baby Driver, one of my favorites. This might be my favorite Edgar Wright movie. Next, Back to the Future Blu-ray Trilogy. This is the 25th anniversary edition. I really like, the, I think it's the 30th or 35th anniversary edition, a little better. So if I could ever get that for a good deal, I might trade it for this one. Batman Under the Red Hood, probably my favorite Batman animated movie. The live action Beauty and the Beast, one of my favorite of the Disney live action movies. And Behind Enemy Lines, a really underappreciated Owen Wilson and Gene Hackman movie, a really cool one. Continuing with the Bs, we have Big Hero 6, Blade Runner 2049. This is the last Blu-ray that I have that I really want to get the 4K for. I have the Blomkamp Trilogy, which includes District 9, Chappie, and Elysium. District 9 being my favorite of the three, then probably Chappie, and then Elysium. I haven't rewatched Elysium for a long time. I do need to revisit that one. The Bourne Trilogy on Blu-ray, so this comes with Bourne Identity, Supremacy, and Ultimatum. And then Jason Bourne, another decent follow-up. I will not watch Bourne Legacy, but this one perfectly fine Jason Bourne movie. Bumblebee, my favorite of the Transformer movies. The Book of Eli, really cool Christian themes in this one. Definitely slept on by a lot of people. One of the most underrated Steven Spielberg movies, Catch Me If You Can. Uh, not underrated, underappreciated for sure. Chasing Mavericks, really cool surfing movie based on a true story. Chef, one of my favorite Jon Favreau films. 
A Christmas Carol. Christmas Vacation, one of my favorite Christmas movies. Chronicle, really cool found footage. What would real people do with superpowers? The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. Now picking my favorite movie in this section. I'm even going to include the alien ones in there because alphabetically they fit in there. Alien is one of my favorite movies of all time. That one's a pretty easy pick for me. Avatar is a great one. Arrival is excellent. The Quiet Place is really good. There's a lot of really good ones in here, but definitely Alien for me. Literally top three favorite movies of all time. Continuing with the Narnia movies, we have The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian, and The Chronicles of Narnia, Voyage of the Dawn Treader, Cloverfield, Commando, recently watched a lot of Arnold Schwarzenegger movies for the first time this year, Contagion, a little bit too relevant for what's happening right now, Cowboys vs. Aliens. I slept on this movie for a long time, never checked it out. Really, really cool movie I finally watched. Crawl, picked this one up recently. Creed and Creed 2. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, one of my favorite martial arts movies. Batman Begins, The Dark Knight, and The Dark Knight Rises. Date Night, The Day After Tomorrow. Next we have Deadpool, the complete collection for now. So this includes Deadpool and Deadpool 2. Once Upon a Deadpool, the PG-13 version of the first Deadpool. Deepwater Horizon. Divergent, as well as Insurgent and Allegiant. I don't love these movies, but they're okay. My wife really enjoys them. Django Unchained on Steelbook. Doctor Sleep, I haven't watched this one yet. Dread, kind of the American raid. Drive on Steelbook, great Ryan Gosling movie. Dunkirk on 4K. Eagle Eye. Elf, one of my favorite Christmas movies. Ender's Game. The Equalizer, I don't have or haven't seen The Equalizer 2 yet. Aragon, I love these books. This movie is not very good, but because I love the books so much, I have the movie. Escape Plan, Everything Everything, one of my wife's movies, Face Off, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and Fantastic Beasts the Crimes of Grindelwald, The Fast and the Furious, and Too Fast, Too Furious, and that's it for that section. Okay, if I had to pick my favorite from this second section here, it would probably be The Dark Knight. There's some great movies in here. Uh, I mean, Crawl is really great, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Um, Django Unchained is one of my favorite movies of all time. You know what? I'm gonna say Django Unchained actually because Django Unchained is on my top 10 favorite movies of all time. The Dark Knight is not. So that's my pick, Django Unchained. Okay, we're gonna change it up a little bit for this shelf. Continuing on with section three, we have Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift, Fast and Furious, Fast Five, Fast and Furious Six, Furious Seven, and The Fate of the Furious for all the Fast and the Furious movies. Fighting with My Family. Fly Boys, a great war movie I watched growing up. Ford v Ferrari on 4K. Fury. Game Night. Get Out. Get Smart. Gladiator. Glass. Godzilla King of the Monsters. Goodwill Hunting, that might be my pick for this selection. Good Night or Good Morning, a movie a friend of mine made. The Greatest Showman. Ooh, sticky. The Gray. Hacksaw Ridge. Halloween and Halloween 2018. Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters. Happy Death Day to you. I don't have the first one yet. The Harry Potter 8 movie collection. Olympus Has Fallen. Now I keep these under H for Has Fallen since they're kind of the Has Fallen saga. So we also got London Has Fallen, Angel Has Fallen, and then Here Comes the Boom. Great Kevin James movie. Uh, double here with Home Alone and Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Hot Fuzz, another one of my favorite Edgar Wright movies. 
Hotel Transylvania 3. I have the first two on DVD. We might take a look at the DVDs later. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. That's the Jim Carrey one. And then the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy. Picking a favorite in this section, I would say Top Contenders, Hot Fuzz, Halloween, Goodwill Hunting, Gladiator, oh dear, Ford v Ferrari. I'm between Gladiator, Goodwill Hunting, Hot Fuzz. Well, Hot Fuzz is on my top 10 of all time, so I'm definitely gonna go with Hot Fuzz on that one, but that's a really close between Halloween, Gladiator, Goodwill Hunting, and Hot Fuzz. So that's my pick for section three. We're playing a bit of limbo here. We got next in the section four, starting off section four, The Hunger Games, The Hunger Games Catching Fire. I Can Only Imagine, I, Robot. I Am Dragon, really cool, I think German movie. I Am Legend, In Time, Inception on Steelbook. The Django Unchained Inglorious Bastards combo pack. I keep this down here with the Inglorious Bastards under I because I have the Django Unchained Steelbook. Insomnia, Instant Family, Intern, The Internship, Interstellar, The Invisible Man, Ipman, Ipman 2, Ipman 3, and Ipman 4. The Iron Giant, The Island, It, It Chapter 2, It's a Wonderful Life, The Italian Job on Steelbook, Jack Reacher and Jack Reacher 2. Now, I keep my Daniel Craig James Bond movies under J for James Bond, just so I can keep them in chronological order since their titles are all over the place. So I have Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, and Spectre on 4K. And then we also have the John Wick Trilogy on 4K. Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. Jumanji, The Next Level. Jurassic Park. The Lost World Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. And then those are the only Jurassic World movies or Jurassic Park movies I think you nearly need to own. And then we also got King Kong and Knives Out. Picking my favorite movie in this section, Knives Out was my favorite movie from last year. Jurassic Park is a great movie. Casino Royale, one of the probably the best James Bond movie ever made. I've only seen the new ones though. The Invisible Man was one of my favorite movies this year. Inception's definitely up there. I'd probably say I'm between Inception and Casino Royale. I'm a bigger Christopher Nolan fan than I am a James Bond fan, so I'm gonna go with Inception. Okay, I'm gonna be off screen for this one, but I wanna give you a close look so you can see. Kong Skull Island, Kubo and the Two Strings, La La Land, the Last Samurai, The Lego Movie, The Legend of Tarzan, Leon the Professional 4K Steelbook, Life, Little Women, this is the 2019 one, Live Die Repeat or Edge of Tomorrow, I just go with Live Die Repeat because that's what's on there first, Logan, Lone Survivor, Lord of the Rings Trilogy, the theatrical edition, and Lord of the Rings Trilogy on 4K. Mad Max Fury Road. The Magnificent Seven. Man on a Ledge, one of my wife's favorite movies. The Martian, this is the extended edition also. The Mask of Zorro on 4K. The Matrix. The Maze Runner, then the Maze Runner Scorch Trials, and the Maze Runner Death Cure. Meg. Memento, finally got this one on Blu-ray recently. Mission Impossible 5 Movie Collection. Mission Impossible Fallout. Moneyball. Napoleon Dynamite. National Treasure. National Treasure 2 Book of Secrets. 
Need for Speed, Nerve, Nightcrawler, probably Jake Gyllenhaal's best performance, No Escape, Now You See Me, Now You See Me 2, and October Sky, moving into the O's. So, now picking my favorite out of the bunch here, this one is so, so close because I consider The Matrix an absolutely perfect movie and it's on my top three of all time. But there's no denying Lord of the Rings, it's rightful place in my number one favorite movie of all time. So, I mean, I have the theatrical edition here. I have the Blu-ray 4K extended and theatrical. I even have the 4K, the regular Blu-ray extended edition. Moving on to shelf number two, uh, two things I want to mention really quick before we continue. You'll see Man of Steel. This is kind of like the collector's edition of the Blu-ray up here. I think it's the 3D one. Um, you have probably noticed I haven't mentioned any DCEU movies. I keep all my DCEU movies in their own section as well as all of my MCU movies. So we'll get to those as we get to the end. Also, since I was just talking about Lord of the Rings, I was going to wait till the end to talk about these, but I also have the Hobbit Extended Edition Blu-ray box set as well as the Lord of the Rings Extended Edition Blu-ray box set. Um, I mean, as it's very evidently clear, I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan, so I have lots of copies of these movies. I'm gonna move this out of the way while we're going through these so we don't have to worry about it falling over because it likes to do that. Continuing on now with section six, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Only the Brave, The Others, really underappreciated horror movie, Overlord, really overlooked for sure, Overlo Overlord is overlooked, The Pacific Rim, I don't know why I said the Pacific Rim, Pan's Labyrinth, Parasite, Passengers on 4K, and The Patriot. We also have the Pirates of the Caribbean 4 movie collection, so this includes Curse of the Black Pearl, Dead Man's Chest, At World's End, and On Stranger Tides. I personally definitely consider the Curse of the Black Pearl to be the best one. I really do enjoy Stranger Tides. It's been a while since I've watched uh, any but the first of these movies. I haven't been motivated enough to buy the fifth one on Blu-ray just because I really didn't enjoy it that much. Continuing on though, we have Pitch Perfect, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and War for the Planet of the Apes. The Polar Express, Predator on 4K, Predators, I actually have a soft spot for that one, I enjoy that one. Premium Rush, the Prestige, Priceless, Prince of Persia, Project Almanac, Ragamuffin. Wrapping up this section, we have the Raid Collection. So this includes the Raid Redemption, or just the Raid, and then the Raid 2. Red and Red 2. Red Cliff, one of my favorite epic martial arts movies. Not much martial arts, but like epic Asian war movie for sure. Remember the Titans. Robin Hood, that's the Russell Crowe version. The Rush Hour Trilogy, so this includes all three Rush Hour movies. Sahara. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Searching. Seven Pounds. School of Rock and the Scream Trilogy. Just got into these movies in the past few months. Loved them. If, right. Let's get these back on here, and then we'll pick my favorite. Top contenders are definitely going to be probably Red Cliff, Searching, School of, okay, School of Rock, Dawn of, the Planet, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is on my top 10 favorite movies of all time. I'm I'm gonna go with Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. That is one of my favorite movies of all time. I love that one. I love Dawn for the Planet of the Apes. All right, moving on to section seven. Starting things off, we have Shadow, The Shallows, Shawshank Redemption on Steelbook, Shaun of the Dead, Sherlock Holmes and Sherlock Holmes, A Game of Shadows. Shooter. Sing Street. The Sixth Sense. The Social Network. 
space balls and speed we may have already picked my favorite in this section next we have the spider-man trilogy that's the sam raimi one split star trek star trek into darkness on steelbook and star trek star trek beyond star wars the prequel trilogy solo i keep these in chronological order rogue one a star wars story and then Star Wars, the original trilogy. Might as well pull these out since we're talking about Star Wars. I, sh I, mm, I should not have done that. Um, Star Wars, The Force Awakens on Steelbook. Star Wars, The Last Jedi. And Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. Excuse me while I get these movies off the floor. That is the one of two things I don't like about these shelves. Other than that, they're great. One, movies fill out the back. Two, I can't display anything on top because they're slanted, so it's hard to get stuff up there. Okay, finishing off section seven, we have Step Up, Step Up 2, Step Up 3, Step Up 4, Revolution. These are kind of a guilty pleasure for me. Just finished collecting all of those, actually. Super 8 on Steelbook. Taken, don't need the other Taken movies. Disney's Tarzan, my favorite Disney animated movie. Teen Titans, Judas Contract. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trilogy from the 90s. Tenet on 4K. The Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day on 4K. The Thing, this is the 2011 one. I like this one, it's the only one I've seen. I do need to check out the original though, I have not seen that. And this means war. So that wraps up this section. Let me get these back on here and we'll pick a favorite. Picking my favorite out of this section, Sing Street and Disney's Tarzan are on my top 10 favorite movies of all time list, so those are definitely top contenders. Tarzan ranks just a little bit higher because I have a ton of nostalgia for that movie. I've only been a fan of Sing Street for a couple of years now, but I mean, that is still hands down top 10 favorite movies of all time for me, but Disney's Tarzan, I have a ton of nostalgia for that movie. Moving on to section eight now, we're wrapping up uh, all the way through Z and the numbers. We have Tomb Raider, Tombstone, I haven't seen this one yet, Tomorrow When the War Began, Top Gun on Steelbook, Total Recall on 4K, just got that one recently, can't wait to watch that in 4K. The Town, ooh, that's a good one. I just blanked on that name for some reason. Treasure Planet, one of my favorite Disney animated movies. Tron Legacy, True Grit, that's the recent remake, well not recent, like 10 year old remake. Turbo, Unbreakable, Underworld, Underworld Evolution, Underworld 3 Rise of the Lycans on Steelbook, Underworld Awakening, and Underworld Blood Wars. Some more guilty pleasures of mine. Upgrade, really underrated action movie. Warm Bodies, Warrior, I'm reading all these backwards, so. Whiplash, I mean, I kind of know what they are, but. Wind River, another really underappreciated movie. A lot of really underappreciated movies on this one. The X-Men Beginnings Trilogy. So this is the more recent movies, but even though the timeline's all over the place for these, I keep them quote unquote chronological. So that's First Class, Days of Future Past, and Apocalypse, and then Dark Phoenix on 4K. The X-Men trilogy I grew up with, so X-Men, X2, X-Men United, and X-Men 3, The Last Stand, and then Wolverine. I, I don't know, I maybe should keep Logan in there too if I'm doing that. Young Frankenstein, one of my favorite comedies. Zombieland, Zombieland, Double Tap. Zootopia, we are done with the Z's, moving into numbers. 10 Cloverfield Lane, 13 Hours, The Super Soldiers of Benghazi. There's some stickiness here. 21, 21 Jump Street and 20, whoops, 22 Jump Street. Then 42, don't know how that happened. 500 Days of Summer and 1917 on 4K. Let's get these put back and then I'll pick my favorite. All right, picking my favorite in section eight. There's a lot of really good movies in here, but I am a huge fan of Whiplash. Whiplash is an excellent J.K. Simmons and Miles Teller movie written by and directed, well, I think it was written and directed by Damien Chazelle, but that's, that's going to be my pick. Okay, moving on, moving on to kind of my bundles or multi-packs, I guess they are. I have 
Blazing Saddles, Caddyshack, and National Lampoon's European Vacation. I mostly just have this one for Blazing Saddles, one of my favorite Mel Brooks comedies. And then I also have the Rankin Bass Original Christmas Specials Collection. So this one I mostly have for Rudolph, Frosty, and Santa Claus is Coming to Town. These are great Christmas classics. I already showed you my Middle Earth collection, so let's talk about DC. I have these, to the best of my knowledge, in chronological order. So starting things off, Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice, Ultimate Edition, Suicide Squad, really excited for the new Suicide Squad movie, Wonder Woman, I enjoyed Wonder Woman 1984, it wasn't great, but Justice League, can't wait to replace that one, Aquaman, Shazam, and Birds of Prey, and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn on 4K. If I was to pick my favorite out of all of these, I rank Man of Steel highest. I mean, I got that behind me too, so I think that one's a little obvious. So Man of Steel is definitely my favorite DCEU movie. Wrapping things up for my Blu-ray collection, real quick, I'm going to go through my MCU movies. I do have them all, but I'm still going to go through them real quick because I'm excited because I finished collecting these last year. Iron Man. I keep these in release order. The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man 2, Thor, Captain America the First Avenger, The Avengers, Iron Man 3, Thor the Dark World, Captain America the Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, the Avengers Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Captain America Civil War, Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy, Spider-Man Homecoming, Thor Ragnarok, Black Panther, Avengers Infinity War, Ant-Man and the Wasp. I still have my Black Friday promo on that. <laughs> Captain Marvel. Avengers Endgame. And Spider-Man Far From Home. If I was to pick my favorite movie in the MCU, it would probably be Avengers Infinity War or Endgame. Um, I'm currently slowly re-watching the movies with my wife. And we have only watched a few so far. And so far, my favorite of... I think almost, I think all of Phase 1 that we've watched so far, we watched Iron Man's definitely the best of the bunch. Iron Man still ranks top tier MCU for me, so uh, off the top of my head, if I had to pick a favorite MCU movie, as of my rewatch right now, which is only Phase 1, almost Phase 1, Iron Man, if I had to pick a favorite, probably Infinity War or Avengers Endgame. So that wraps up my complete Blu-ray and 4K collection. I was going to show my DVDs because I did last year, my last year's video, but honestly for the most part, 95% of the DVDs I have are my wife's and so I can't really give too much to that uh, as they mostly belong to her. She doesn't care as much about having Blu-rays. Some of the ones in here are hers, uh, but except for maybe three or four of the DVDs over there, they're all hers. So I'm not gonna go over them in this video and I think we did a pretty good job tackling all of this. So make sure you commented your favorite movie from each of the sections. So. Thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. It's obviously one of the longer videos on my channel, so I appreciate anyone who sits and watches the whole thing. I personally enjoy, really enjoy watching these videos myself on YouTube, so I'm excited to kind of just, you know, rewatch this one in editing, look back on it over the year. It's gonna be fun. So, thanks again for checking this video out. I did mention a lot in this video, my top 10 favorite movies of all time. So, that is a video I'm definitely gonna link at the end of this one. It should be popping up any second now. So, if you wanna check that one out, see where I rank my 10 favorite movies of all time you can do that and then i'll put some other stuff over there too for you so thank you once again for sticking around to the end of this video i'll see you in the next one